Yo, what is up Smash players? In today's video, I want to talk about a very frequent question that I get, and that is, DK Bill, how do you fight stupidity or how do you fight mashers? And I want to talk about how to fight mashers today. Now, I have an example for you, and I'm Zero Suit Samus, and I'm fighting against Cloud. You know, I picked Cloud for, you know, no reason in particular. But let's say I was fighting a masher, and... What you want to do is quite simple, and I had to learn this the hard way because I did not want to accept that I actually had to play a certain way against mashers. I felt like, because I'm so good, I could just beat up mashers, but unfortunately, you can't. You can't brute force it. What you need to do, so imagine this guy's just spamming, like, can I, I probably can't get him to spam uh, up special, <laughs> which, uh, which they totally don't, they never spam up special. They totally never spam up. Let's get spide smash, all right? But let's say you're just smashing moves, okay? What you want to do is literally all you need to do is shield. Because if they're mashing hitboxes, you just need the shield. Now, okay, yeah, I mean, the first half, but then, you know, it's like, oh, I shield, and then, like, I try to punish, and then, like, they just, like, mash another move, or, like, I shield, and then, like, when I let go, they, like, do another move. Okay, all you need to do is hold shield, and then when they're done mashing, you GTFO. Okay? You don't try to punish. Because you need to get in, you need to first understand deeply how they mash. Like, what moves do they use after each other? When, when do they bust out the laggy move? Right? So if they might be someone who does like, they might do cloud down tilt and the F tilt and then up B, or they might do F tilt and then up B. And, and usually the up B is the laggy one, right? And that's the one you want to shield. And then even then you want to make sure you see how they space it. You know, do they kind of like drift back? Do they drift in? Do they try to cross you up? You kind of want to see how they're mashing because once you understand deeply how they mash, then you can punish. So literally how I play against mashers, what I do is I go in and shield and then I literally jump away. And then I go in and shield, and then I literally jump away. And then, now, I know how they mash, because if they're mashing, they're not really thinking, okay? So now I understand how they mash, so I know where to shield relative to them. I know over here are able to get a nice down tilt punish. And then even then, it's like, it's pretty safe. So I'll shield over here, they'll mash, they'll space the tip, and then, like, I'll just be in down tilt range. Or I'll be over here, and I'll be in down tilt range. Because I don't want... I, I've learned that they mash and they like to get close. And when they get close, I can only really do up B out of shield to punish, right? Or maybe you get a, the you get the hang of that after the up B, they stop mashing and they just hold shield. And that's when I that's when I grab, you know. So basically, if you're fighting a masher, man, you literally just go in shield and GTFO. You go in shield GTFO because what's really gonna bite you is you're gonna shield. You're gonna let go try to punch too early. You're gonna get mashed on. You're gonna be in disadvantage. You're gonna be going from the ledge. You're going to be shook because they're mashing all kinds of things on the ledge. You won't even know what to do. You're going to get mashed off. And then you're going to have to work your way back in. So the key is not to try to punish until you are extremely confident. Because people mash, but if all mashers... Look, if you're really trying to beat a masher, mashers have patterns, okay? You can't tell me they're a smart masher because at that point, they're not even a masher. Okay, you could be a good masher because your patterns are good. But regardless, they are very strong ingrained patterns, all right? Go in, shield, GTFO. Go in, shield, GTFO. Go in, shield. And now have the spacing right, have the punish down, and then you shield, and then you can punish. Or, you know, they're they're mashing so well that you shield, GTFO, shield, GTFO, and then you know that you just run up grab with confidence. Or you just run up fair with confidence because you know how they mash and you know what they're going to do. All right, guys? So shield is your best friend in that matchup. And even... Uh, probably grab because mashers like to just mash a button a lot of buttons and then shield um, When they throw out their, their final move that seems punishable, but not actually so if you enjoyed this video Don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up spank that subscribe button. Have a swell evening, and I will see you next time